Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level six. Welcome to Cloud Cuckoo Land story walkthrough for the Lego movie video game. So you can see down in the bottom right, we do uh, have a special requirement of 75,000 studs, which we do get. And we also get the trophy achievement, no frowny faces for completing the level. So here we are in, uh, well, the last little stigment of uh, the Wild Wild West Lego area. So we're going to milk it for a few more studs before advancing here. As you can see, uh, it's, it's requiring us to walk through that gate because we've already got it open. And uh, essentially, like I said, uh, you know, hey, there's lots of characters to buy and uh, plenty of things to do in this hub. So if you're one of those people that likes to explore early, feel free to do so. Uh, if you're following along in the series with us, then, um, you know, we're just going to follow these green studs and head on over to the Batmobile. Actually, it's uh, the Bat plane or Bat spaceship something. So anyways, we're going to batarang a few more things. Grab the bluesies over here on the left hand side because, hey, a thousand studs is a thousand studs. You know what I'm saying? So use Batman's grapple to go ahead and activate uh, the scene. And this will be how we trigger the next level. Oh, to the yeah. So uh, we did skip some cut scenes due to some copyright protected stuff. So uh, rather than get in trouble, we're going to just go ahead and remove those. But hey, we are in cuckoo cloud land. So we are going to smash pretty much everything in sight. There are uh, lots of these little clouds on top of the clouds, and uh, feel free to destroy all those. Or if you're in a hurry, just go ahead and destroy the big old pinwheels. There are five of the pinwheels. I'm just kidding. You don't need to destroy them all. But if you're looking for the mini kits, um, that is where one of them is. And hey, speaking of mini kits, we're going to get to all of the collectible stuff in the free play series. And as we use Batman's grapple to pull down uh, some pieces, which then allow us to build another grapple. Um, we'll go ahead and recommend that you check out happythumbsgaming.com. And uh, right on the home page there, in fact, uh, as of this recording, it's the featured message on the front page. But uh, if it's a little bit later and not as of the day of this recording, then uh, you're going to want to scroll down just a little bit, and you should see a trophy achievement guide area right on the middle of the page. Um, we've got trophy achievement guide for this. We got it for Marvel. We got it for uh, a lot, and we're gonna keep building them and tell our Lego trophy achievement list is complete. So check them out. We do got some other games as well. So if you're stuck, uh, those trophy achievement guides definitely help. And if I say trophy achievement one more time, I'm gonna make ba Batman jump off this cloud head first. And uh, no, I'm just kidding. All right, so we're just destroying lots of stuff, getting studs until we find these balloons. Those balloons are obviously the key to dropping that other cloud down, so destroy them with the Batarang, or you can use the Staff of Protrubius. Now, so because I'm not getting the mini kits, that's why I skipped that pinwheel flower, if you were wondering. And uh, here in a little bit, we actually come face to face with a golden instruction manual, or mini kit for you old schoolers. And uh, yeah, I walk right by it. Actually, I jump down from it. So we'll come back and free play and get all those. And like I said, if you're in a hurry, go use our guide. Oh, yeah. So switch it up, and uh, you can see we got a master build situation here. Batman is most certainly a master builder. You have to destroy a few clouds on uh, this platform in order to find the, the build point. But once you find it, just go ahead and hop on there and make it happen. Build it like it's hot. Build it like it's hot. All right. So we uh, can use any kind of throwing projectile to go ahead and swing that sail around. And unfortunately, you don't pick up studs along the way here. That would have been really cool to get all those studs that I earned. I mean, I did earn them and all. But uh, like I said, we do get the uh, 75,000 studs required for this level, so it's not like we're missing out on a whole lot. But we do uh, stud hoard up here for quite a while, smashing and grabbing everything in, in sight, everything impossible. There's another save, a manual save spot, um, as you've probably heard us before. We don't really recommend you use those, but it's mainly due to the fact that... Um, oh, no, you know what? That's not even a save spot. That's a, it's a Unikitty spot. We don't even have Unikitty right now, so don't even worry about it. But, uh, yeah, so I was starting to say something important, but it clearly wasn't that important. So switch on over to Wild Style and go to the uh, the Flower Power area. I still call it Flower Power because it kind of reminds me of the old uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and how the females had the – that was actually flowers, same colors and everything. But uh, anyways, 
All right, so there's one of the three snowmen that you can build. That is uh, another gold instruction manual, so watch out for that. And uh, once you get all the way to the top, the goal is just basically press and slide that box down. And uh, guess what? It allows us to build another grapple hook. So Batman would be your guy, and he goes and heads, and it's just like uh, the old high school bleachers. You're going to rip them out, and uh, hopefully no one's under there looking up any skirts, right? Oh, yeah. All right, so there's a blue one over on the right, and you know me, I cannot pass up a blue stud, so I'm going to go ahead and get those. There are a couple higher ones up there, but I'm assuming that is a free play only scenario. I don't know. Uh, some of these characters might be able to do a couple things that I'm not aware of yet, but we Batman can't fly, so I just learned that the hard way. Um, remember I said there was a gold instruction manual that I come face to face with? Well, guess what? It's right at the top of this cloud here in the background. The goal here is we need to uh, take Petruvius and give the old secret knock. But we can't do that until we destroy that blue cloud right in front of me right there, the blue and gray one. But we sneak up top because I'm thinking, oh, i got to get up top here. And then I get all the way up top, and I'm like, oh, no. But there's a gold instruction manual for you guys. And I do find the pants in the back. If you looked carefully in the background there, there's a, a giant rainbow, and it's got pants on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at me d -d 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 drilling that special cloud. But I go away from it. No, go back to the cloud. All right. I'm going to get to it here in just a second. There are three snowmen, as mentioned, but you need a master builder to build them. And I was thinking that it had something to do with what I needed to do here. But nope, did not. But I did get a few extra studs, so we'll take that. And all right, Batman, figure it out. You're Batman. All right, cha cha cha. And check it out. Now we've got Petruvius's circle. So select him and go up and try to nail the old secret knock. Can't really, I haven't really figured out yet if it's like the fishing from Lord of the Rings where you got to get three in a row, or if it was just I messed up. But regardless, it gave us a purple. <laughs> Boy, I don't know if there's anything quite as exciting as finding a purple stud when you don't have the multiplier. When you have a multiplier, everything is worth a lot. So uh, not having it is pretty epic. All right, so here we are. It just got a little bit more chaotic and crazy and colorful. Um, hopefully, uh, you're not colorblind, because if you are, you're missing out on quite a lot here. And uh, All right, so here we go. We got Unikitty now, and uh, we're going to go ahead and smash around a bunch. Of she appears to like shoot like some sort of like a rainbow fireball or something out of her mouth, kind of like a dragon would spit fireballs, but not quite the same. But she also has this crazy head attack that she just like... Just straight head bangs everything. I don't know if she's a big fan of like metal music or what, but she is a head a banging kitty for show. Bo show. All right, so there's one of those manual save terminal terminals over on the right. Uh, like I said, it's up to you if you want to use it or not. We kind of had some bad experience in the past, so we recommend that you don't. Uh, but that doesn't say that uh, there will be problems if you do use it. So if you got to go take a dump or got to go to school or something and you want to save it and turn it off, then feel free to use it. But uh, I would recommend beating the level and pinching that loaf until you're done. Was that inappropriate? My bad. All right, so uh, here we are up top. There's a bunch of dudes dancing. There's a robot here. Um, I'm not really sure I'm comfortable with where you got to use the grapple hook, but regardless, the deal is done now. Oh, and then Emmett's got to go use uh, his tool. This is just wrong, people. TT Games, shame on you. Or maybe shame on me for just having uh, a mind that goes, well, in many directions. Yeah, I don't know about you, but that chick is hot. Look at her. She's just lovely. Um, <laughs> so we're going to use Petruvius' uh, rope, or not rope, his staff, which is actually, uh, a, a viewer told me, that that is actually a lollipop that's like, half eaten I thought that was pretty cool I didn't catch it in the movie if it's in the movie and uh, haven't really figured that out yet in game so make sure you use a throwing projectile to go ahead and spin that uh, lovely robot around she looks better from the back anyways right boys <laughs> oh that was mean alright so uh, here we go we use wild style to go ahead and flip up there and then we drop the uh, teapot down. And then, of course, it uh, gives us the indicator that only Unikitty can go ahead and destroy the rainbow brick. So once they're down, Unikitty can actually even build, which is kind of nice. She is a, uh, or it is, I'm not sure if it's gender specific or not, but uh, it does kind of sound like a female. 
But uh, she is uh, also a master builder. That's where I was going with that. So once you get the boiling all built, you can walk up top, and uh, the robot will walk around and take you to the next level up here. Yay! All right, so get your smash on if you're going for that uh, special requirement. Here in a minute, we're actually going to come to some clouds that are actually a little bit grayer than the rest of the clouds that we've been smashing. And uh, those will indicate uh, storm clouds. And there are five of those. I, th I think there's five. And uh, if you get all five, you find yourself a gold instruction manual. And to my knowledge, it is obtainable here in the story mode. So if not, we'll be making a return in the free play, as you guys all know. All right, destroy everything in sight because everything isn't awesome. All right, another grapple hook. That one was much more appropriate. And we can get out on this no new little ledge out here, except for we uh, are indicated that we need our our acrobatic awesome chica. What's that? And apparently she doesn't weigh enough, so we're going to go ahead and get our uh, rainbow horsey to come join us. Unikitty. I don't know. It's like a unicorn kitty. I don't, I'm not sure. I, I like calling it a horsey, though. It's purdy. Reminds me of the... It actually looks like a My Little Pony to me, honestly. It's like a Lego My Little Pony. Is it not? I mean, come on. All right, so uh, I watched that little thing go by there. I wasn't quite sure what was going on. I had a moment of, uh, I don't know, ridiculousness. But then I realized I have to do a little face slam, and that uh, face slam actually got me ran off the side of the platform there. So be careful there, because you do lose studs every time you die. So that's not uh, ideal. And woohoo, look at that boinger. That shot us up, and look at that. Speaking of chica, look at that big chick. And I do mean the chicken, the little chickadee. And, okay, so look at that. One thing I do like about Unikitty, too, is that you can actually target uh, more than three things. So far, I think Batman and Petruvius can only target three things with their uh, Batarang and Staff. Oh, first storm cloud. There it is right there. See it? See how it's darker than all the rest of them? Watch this. I'm going to get ready to pow it right in the Kissa. Maybe not. I'm oh, going to go ahead and use the grapple hook and pull down the rainbow. Like, who, who pulls down rainbows? I mean, come on, Batman. That's ridiculous. Oh, but look at that. It worked to our advantage, so I guess I won't be too mad at him. All right, so go ahead and make your way across there. And you know what? I think we already got a storm cloud. You guys are probably going, oh, duh, you already got one. I think we already got one, though. And we do bypass that one because we did not want to earn the gold manual in this video. We wanted to save that for the free play run so that all the collectibles are grabbed in one swoop. I know a lot of you guys... Uh, enjoy that as opposed to watching the story mode and then having to figure out which collectibles are left. Ooh, there's a storm cloud. Watch out for the lightning. So yeah, no, that was the first one. So ha! You guys were making fun of me. Or wait, I was just making fun of myself, wasn't I? Either way, switch on over to Batman and uh, pour a little cup of tea. Look at that. It's a waste of tea if you ask me. I know a certain Canadian friend of mine that would be like, what? He'd probably just grab a Sprite, though, and call it good. I wonder who that is. Um, all right, so this is this was a little tricky. Not really, but uh, it took me a second to figure it out. You're going to need Wild Style once you throw Petruvius's... Uh, Wee! Don't jump off the edge like I did. You're going to throw Petruvius's staff up into the first flower here, and then you're going to spin to the middle flower. And then, as you can tell, there uh, there's another staff needed. How's that going to work? Well, you got to go get the staff back from the first one, and throw it to the second one. However, you need to have wild style on the middle one. So I said that kind of confusing. So this is the first one. There's the second one. And then you need to get Petruvius, like you're going to see me here. Ready? Ready? And then we're going to grab that last one. I had to get a little closer to it. Ka-cha. All right. And then we'll go ahead and target the last one. And booyah, ka -chow. Now switch back to wild style and complete the jump. I was like, what, do, what am I doing here? Just hanging out? Okay. So jump all the way to the top and then get your smash on. There's quite a few things, including a, uh, a box that needs a valve handle. We'll get to that in a second. I'm kind of like, what? Wh wh which way did it go? Which way did it go? All right, but there's a whole other platform up here. So another storm cloud. Don't have to worry about uh, you know, not getting them like me. If you want to get them now, feel free to do that. Just know that you've got it. Oh! You're supposed to pick that up and not throw it. Look at that. And I can't get to it. Bummer deal. Good thing it resets. So go ahead and take out both of the uh, flowers that kind of look like pinwheels. There's another storm cloud that I took advantage of. In an appropriate way, that's for sure. 
All right, we'll go ahead and uh, slide down. We'll follow the blue flashing handle icon. And then we'll spin to win on this box. Little jack in the box. Would have been cool if Thumby would have came out. That would have been way cooler. Just saying. And uh, all right, so we got that. Now we can go over to the ledge from below and use our grapple hook one more time. Boy, they have uh, they felt the need to use the grapple handle quite a bit on this level, did they not? And uh, speaking of level, we are making pretty good time. We are well over the halfway point and uh, getting pretty close to the end here. So use Batman and flip all the way up top and then yet again use another grapple hook and then open up the chickie's mouth and then we're going to want to actually run and jump in that with wild style because you can see it's got the wild style bar on the front get a little bedazzlement shine in there yay get up there girl all right oh what wasn't expecting that pa chomp pa chomp pa chow a chomp chomp anybody remember that that's old school right there if you remember that props you are an old school fan and you should write it down in the comments down below and I love it too when I say stuff like that and then like a year goes by and you guys watch the video and then you post something and then you're like, oh, that's from this or that's from that. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's pretty awesome. All right, so you're in a, in a rainbow egg. You need to roll down below to Unikitty and let her smash the, the face in of the egg. Smash the face. And then go ahead and get your boing on. Get up top. Oh, yeah. There's another storm cloud on the left-hand side. Pew, pew, pew. You can see I'm shooting those like rainbow fireballs. And we'll make it over here to give another secret knock with Petruvius. Takes me a minute to select him here. Hit a little button fumble. All right. All right. Knocky, knocky. Anybody home? I wasn't sure, if, again, if I failed or what was going on. Oh, totally failed. So that's what a fail looks like so the first time I definitely got it right second time not so much and here we go ready but you can show get in that door all right a couple studs get added to our collection and then we'll uh, sneak on in right doesn't look uh, suspect or scary all right so here's like one of the last areas right here I think it is actually the last area we're gonna drop in through this tube it's like a water park with no water there's a giant elephant in the back. Whatever are we going to do with that? Well, there's a grapple hook on the right side of him, and there is a uh, construction crack on the left-hand side. Oh, and if you make your way all the way over to the left-hand side of the platform, you pick up the first of three instruction manuals. So uh, we're going to go ahead and use Batman to target that grapple hook and pull it down. It gives us a little indicator, hey, you got to get up top. So that's kind of a dead giveaway kind of defeats the purpose of me helping with this video it kind of tells you everything doesn't it it made this lego games a little bit easier all right so then i'm like wait what do i do well you got to switch on over to emmett and pull out the drill all right so once that's done it's going to crumble that whole wall so yeah and uh, now we actually have, uh, we don't realize this at first, but we have access to a couple of master build parts. So one on the left, one on top of the elephant, and then one on the right from where you use the grapple hook. And any of the master builders go crazy. We chose Batman. And look at that. He builds a little mouse mobile. And any ideas what we do with that? Let's drive it. All right, this is a little squirrely. It's a little different uh, vehicle controls than what we're used to here. It's kind of a backwards driver. It steers from the rear. So if you're a forklift driver, you're in luck. If you're not, uh, have some patience. As you can see, I'm starting to four by, and then I get stuck right here. Oh, not quite good enough. Uh, I'm not sure you actually have to follow the stud trail all the way around. I did because I'm a stud whore, and I had to get all them studs. Got to collect them all. And once you get all the way around in front, it kind of spooks the elephant, because as you might remember from the movie Dumbo, elephants do not like mice. Dumbo might not be the only point of uh, learning about <laughs> that, but uh, nonetheless, that's where I first learned it, so you probably know it as well. If you haven't seen the Disney classic Dumbo, go watch it. All right, use the uh, acrobatic wall with wild style to get all the way up, and then tight pants, tight rope it on the far right side. And yes, that is a shout-out to my, my boy Snug Trouser. If you don't know about tight pants Joey, uh, well, you should probably go watch some of our older Lego videos to find out about them. All right, slide on down. Wee! And Booyaka Shao, the last 
instruction manual needed. So we can switch on over to Emmett and get our build on. I love these builds, for the record. Here we go. We're going to build a spaceship. All right. We got one part coming, and bam, nailed it. All right. We got two parts coming, and one, two. Oh, yeah. All right. So you see that it actually ticked down a little bit of uh, money there. And then as we get the last three, booyah, 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 kashow. Um, you can actually get a trophy achievement called First Try. You probably saw it in one of the previous videos. But you get it for not losing any money. So you have to be a really fast builder. And uh, easiest way to do it is on the first one because there's only like one or two uh, single items. So That'll actually take us out to a cutscene, which we had to remove. So Booyaka Shao, we open up free play. We also got the uh, No Frowny Faces trophy achievement. A couple of characters, one of the most important ones being Unikitty. And uh, not that we don't appreciate Shakespeare, but uh, or the magician, we love us some sleight of hand. And uh, but uh, truth be told, the uh, Unikitty is actually going to be pretty helpful in the free play. All right, so I know I told you we got the uh, the special requirement, but I got to be honest, we fell about 700 st studs short. So you'll see, we actually reached 99 percent. And uh, just shy of the 75,000. No gold instruction manuals because we're saving those for the free play. Couple gold bricks. Oh, psych. Only one because we did not get the special. So down to 10 or up to 10. Only 60 left. And that will actually wrap up level 6. Welcome to Cloud Cuckoo Land story walkthrough for Lego the movie. And, uh, oh, yeah. Hopefully you found it entertaining and fun. It's been uh, very colorful this time it has. And lots of grapple hooks. Some inappropriate, some not so inappropriate. But uh, hey, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. Get involved in the conversation here. Tell us what you'd like to see, uh, what you like best about the movie or this particular level. And uh, happythumbsgaming.com is available as well. You should head on over there and check out our new store. We've got Thumby stickers. The Buika Shao stickers will be there soon if they're not already. Um, you know, we will be getting some T-shirts once the demand comes in a little bit more. So if you want a T-shirt, let us know. We might stock them sooner. As always, until next time. <laughs> See ya.